Hi there, this is Jason O'Connell, and this is part two of our video on how to create an image lace brush in Illustrator CC. And in the first part, we used Photoshop CC to take an image of a lace and clean it up and put it in repeat and get it ready so that we can use it in Illustrator's brushes. So what I'll do is file place and select the lace and make sure to uncheck link here. It'll save you a step in the future and automatically embed the lace into your file. So I'll hit place. So this is new in Illustrator CC. We get a little place icon. So I can click and put it where I want. And now since it's embedded, I can just take it and drag it into my brushes. We're going to make a pattern brush and hit OK. And I'll give it a name. Okay, since we dragged it into our brushes, you'll see that the side tile right here is already pre-filled with the image that we brought in. So we have a couple of other options here. For this brush, we're just going to have some corners and we'll have them auto-generate using the new feature from Illustrator CC. So if I take this outside corner and click on this, it'll give you several options to use for your corners. And I prefer auto-sliced. Um, I'll show you what each of these is uh, after this. So auto-sliced, and I might as well choose that for the inner corner. And we're not going to worry about a starter end tile here. Okay, then we'll hit OK. And to show you what that looks like, I'll make a rectangle and fill it with our new brush. And it's as simple as that. And you see that the auto corners do a really good job generating that corner piece for you. Uh, what I've done on this other page is you can see what each of those options does. So there's auto-centered, it squishes it a little bit, but it's kind of like sliced. We have auto-between, and we have auto-slice, which I think gives the best result for this particular lace. And then we have auto-overlap, which is a complete mess. <laughs> so a couple of other things I'd like to show you here. You can't recolor images and brushes. So if I was to just double click back on my lace brush, there's this colorization method here. That only applies to vector artwork. So you can't set this to like a hue shift and hit OK. And then change your stroke color like you could for vector artwork. So that would work great for vector artwork. But there is a little trick that you can do. So since this is an image, what I'll do is I'll make a rectangle the size of my lace, and I'll send that to the back. So I have the color background below my lace, and I'll select both of these. Next, I'll go to the transparency panel, and I'll click on Make Mask. And you kind of start to see how it's going to work. It's actually the opposite that we want. So what I'll do is I'll do an invert mask in the transparency panel, and there you go. It's using the lace as a mask and letting the color show through underneath so the darker colors will actually be the exact color and then the lighter colors in the lace will be tints of that color. Okay. Now unfortunately we can't drag this in and make a brush. When you try to do it it'll say you can't. So what you'll have to do in this case is do an, just do an object, rasterize, make sure you do transparent ground so we can see through it and then press OK. And now you can drag this in, make a new pattern brush, set up your auto corners if you want them, and hit OK. And then I can apply that to this lace right here. And there you go, I've recolored the brush. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.